Hi, Gemini's. Okay, so today we're going to do your daily. Let's see what the fuck is going on now. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that these readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does, leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <sighs> so, what's going on, you guys? How is your day going? Let me know in the comments below. You know you guys are family. All I'm going to say is, I am fucking up. <laughs> Temptation is the devil, but whatever. Live a life, have a fun. That's fine. <laughs> At least with that, that's what I'm going to say when it all goes wrong. So, first card out free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. time to free yourself gemini i feel like i'm freeing the fuck out of myself <laughs> gemini's are pretty good at that shit we flighty as shit like i'm out <laughs> thanks next uh deception someone is wearing a self mask in this relationship your spirit keeps trying to fucking tell us this why we always gotta get the lying cheating bastard <laughs> next card out Free yourself from this deceptive ass person. Next card out, spirit. Why you keep trying to give me two? Next time, if I get two, the next time I'm gonna just take it because clearly, one more spirit. Romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real, real and worth exploring. Bottom of the deck. Pay attention to the red fucking flags, okay? It says these signs are cautioning you. Ugh, Gemini, we can't get a fucking break. <sighs> okay, so deception and pay attention to the red flag. Shit's getting real. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see what's going on here, Spirit. All right, Spirit, tell me what's going on with my Geminis. I feel like this is going to be a long read. It's always long every day. Uh. Oh, also, you guys, if you want to book a read with me, I'm going to leave the information down in the comment section because nobody can seem to find the description box. You guys can book with me right now. I'm having a $25 special. <sighs> Take action while you can because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to keep it the same way. I like drain myself doing uh, personals after doing 12 signs every day and extras whenever I'm doing them. So, this is why we have the deception and pay attention to the red flags. We're noticing that this, this person, whoever we're dealing with, is not stable. This person has a lot of passion, but they run in and out of people's lives and probably their beds, giving everybody this passion. And you might already know that. And even if you don't know particularly what's going on, there's some red flags that are telling you, like, wait a minute, something is not right here and we're ignoring it. I feel like this person might lie too. This person might tell you like, oh, you're bugging or you, you're overthinking it. No, baby, you're noticing the red flags, okay? And it's telling you to free yourself because clearly you, you already are like feeling this person a lot. Yeah, with the six of wands, I feel like you're dealing with someone who wants a lot of attention. Like this person is an attention whore. And they, but they move slow when it comes to you and your feelings. This person might act really guarded when you ask them about stuff that's going on or where they been or yeah, where you been. When you ask this person what's going on or where they been, they might um, not want to tell you. This person might act real funny towards you. I feel like they even might like block you or stop talking to you, like completely dismiss what you're saying. Okay, but with the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like they want to keep working with you. They still want to deal with you on on the extent that they need. They like the attention that you give them, and maybe even the stability. But with the Seven of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, that that relationship or that stable thing that you're waiting on is slow coming. I think it was the other way. Yeah, 
So, what is this Knight of Wands doing? Let's dig into it. What is this Knight of Wands doing, Spirit? Fucking around with the ex. This Knight of Wands, you might not know, but I'm telling you the fuck now. This person is still dealing with the ex, and they're happy as shit. They might have just went back to their ex. I don't know. Did we have this conversation? I don't know. This person went back to their ex, and this they happy as shit. They might, you, yo, this person might come in the house happy as fuck. And you might not even know why. Like, they might be, like, out all day, and then they come in the house, and they're just, like, happy. And you're like, well, what you do today? They were with their ex. They were with their ex. What is the six of wands here? And they feel victorious about this. Maybe they're happy to get back with their ex. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm tough. I feel like this person might even be trying to find ways to get this person like to to be with them. This per look, I feel like they either they they this could be you that they're stringing along, or this could be this person that they have like on a string. But I feel like they're very this this situation is very toxic for them because i feel like with this with this page of uh swords they're constantly thinking about them they're, they're this is deep they're constantly thinking about ways to get to them like that makes them victorious i don't know if you met this person while they were on a break you might not even know this person is so deceptive you got the devil card pay attention to the red flags and deception so you might have not even had no idea that this person was into this other person you might not have had no idea that this person was like still in dealing with this person or this person was trying to get back you might not even know that they had romantic feelings for somebody else like this why is the knight of pentacles here The King of Pentacles. I feel like one more. This person is this person is walking away. This person is that's why they're moving so slow to come towards you because they're not. This person is walking away from you. They're going to they're going to get stability elsewhere. Hmm. Where is this person going with the Eight of Cups? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person feels burdened um, by the situation or by whatever it is that they're walking away from. If this person leaves, then I'm they they. If this person leaves you, then this is your story. Like I'm sorry, this is not going to resonate for everybody. But if this person has left you recently, or if they leave in the next couple of days, weeks, this is why they. If you notice them coming in the house happy, or like I'm telling you, they they already are dealing. They're already like around. Like they they with somebody else. They with somebody else, and they're happy as shit when they're with them. There's love, like there's a lot of love with this person. Let's just see. Let's keep going. Seven of Wands, because if they're walking away like this, from what I'm saying, with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups, they're walking away because they're burdened by staying in the situation, a situation that was very stable. But you could have been older than this person, but this person is walking away and they're blocking you. They're being very guarded towards you. They're not telling you what the fuck is going on. Why is the Seven of Wands here? So I'm telling you, look at this. Two of Wands, they're at a crossroads about leaving. They're already like in motion about it. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? They're trying to plan this out. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What are they working on? Passionate new start. With someone, it could be a Pisces. It could be somebody that's very intuitive. The Empress knows already. She knows everything. This could be somebody who... Um, here's, this is the third eye card for me, too. This person might, like... I'm telling you. I don't want to say, like... This person knows. Like, this, this person probably knows them very well intuitively. They're probably very in sync with each other. 
Eight of Pentacles, but they want to work on this with them. Whoever this is. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Who is this? I just want to know who this... Who is this uh, Queen of Pentacles? Whoa. Chariot at the bottom of the deck. Moving forward. All right, so this would not be you. This is a single person, okay? I was trying to clarify whether or not they were going to be coming to give you an offer or some... <sighs> They're going to be giving a solid, stable offer to somebody that makes them extremely fucking happy. This person is very stable. This person does her own fucking thing. She's single right now, too. Yeah. Could be a cancer, but this person is, like, hauling ass this person. You probably have no... I'm telling you, this person, like, they link with this person. They link with this person already. I have a lot of movement cards here. And I mean, it's everything. It's cups. It's swords. It's, it's fire, like... I don't know what happened with this person. Maybe this person is just a cheater. And I feel like maybe this the other person that they're dealing with probably left them because they were a cheater. But they're going back. So they have a connection. That Nine of Cups came out. I'm surprised the Two of Cups didn't come out. But I'm going to definitely... We're definitely about to look at this person. Um, this person. Let's just see. Tell me more about this person that Gemini... I told y'all this was going to be a long ass read and I knew it. Tell me about this person. Okay, King of Pentacles. This this was out already. King of Pentacles is them then. This is somebody who's really really focused on money. Tell me more, spirit. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Okay, they have passion. They're trying to balance out the situation. Okay. Okay. This person is looking at the things that you guys planted together. Ooh, and they don't like it. Two of Cups in, the re in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. So this person feels like the shit that y'all are going through or whatever you guys done this far is not, is not cutting it. Sorry. But that's exactly what this is. This is like I'm I'm looking at everything. I'm trying to see like what is, you know, worth keeping or they're assessing the situation. Like, okay, I got this little ass plant, but I I grew all these seeds. I don't like it. It's not coming together. It's a disconnect. Yeah. It's not working. Seven to the Eight of Pentacles, and they're progressing. They're progressing in their thoughts. Why is the King of Pentacles here? This motherfucker is toxic. I'm telling you, whoever it is that you're dealing with, they're toxic as shit. They might want your money. This person might ask you for a lot of shit. Your car. Like, yo, they, this is the type of person that drives your car and don't put no fucking gas back in it. This is the type of person that um, might give you gas one day and it might be like $10 and they'll never do it again. They'll question you like, oh, the gas is going, you got to put gas in the car. This is a very stingy, selfish motherfucker. Look, a wolf. Wolf in sheep's clothes. Why is the queen of wands here? The queen of, okay. The queen of wands is usually the side chick. I'm just going to tell y'all now. The Queen of Wands usually is this person. This this person is very sexy. She's very passionate. This person is a Lauren. This person makes. I'm I'm not going to say it like that because it's also a fire sign. But this person makes motherfuckers want to cheat. Like they just they they they're exciting. He's offering this person something stable. Why is Temperance here? Six of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, bruh. This motherfucker is trying to balance out the situation. They want they want stability with this past person. Six of Cups is the person of the past. This is fucking heavy. This is heavy. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you might have known this could have been a past story, but for you, some people don't, are not, some people are going through this right fucking now, and this is heavy as shit, because I feel like some of you guys don't even know that this is going on, because it's deception, it's shit that you don't know, and it's telling you to free yourself, but it's telling you also to pay attention to the red flags, you're noticing something already that's off, but you're not listening, because this person's probably lying to you, they probably say, oh no, you know, you bugging, it's not what it is, but the devil, this person that you feel is stable, this is the daddy card this is the husband card the king of pentacles is somebody who you already hold in very high regard this is a relationship man but this motherfucker is deceptive they are wearing a false fucking mask oh gemini's i'm sorry that y'all going through this we go through this shit so much why is the seven of pentacles here yo Hopefully, it's you that's pregnant. You have to tell me in the comments below. Maybe you guys have a baby together. But if not, I see that this person is trying to get someone pregnant. Definitely. This is their wish fulfillment. This person could be pregnant already. Why is the two of cups here? Look at this shit. They're not happy with you. They weren't happy with the growth that you guys had. But they're because they're happy as fuck somewhere else. Their love is already somewhere else. And it's for one, it's symbolic of a household. So they might have already lived with this person. God damn. Why is this person so fucked up? I feel like they do this to this person too though. That's probably why this person is like not in the picture like that. But they're trying. Yeah. And I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, trying they're trying to still keep you and work on it with you too. But it's stressing them the fuck out. Like it's like they feel like they're stuck. Like they don't really want to be there. They because they have all of this going on in the background. It's like you don't even know that this person feels burdened by the situation. Look at this. Look at the bottom of the deck. This is how they feel. They feel like, oh my God, I'm stuck. I need to make a decision. I got both these fucking... <laughs> this person might be extremely disrespectful to the both of you guys. I got two of these bitches, these birds. This is how this person acts. Like, this is this is probably how this person thinks. They might be narcissistic. This person can be um, arrogant. You'll, I'm telling you, if you notice these qualities about someone that you're with, this is your story. This person might talk to you any type of way. You might notice that it's a lack of love here with this person. This is why. They have someone else. And again, I'm cautioning you. Pay attention to the red flags. If you don't pay attention and you try to stay in La La Land because you know we get stuck in La La Land, you're going to get your fucking feelings hurt. You're going to get your fucking feelings hurt. I can almost guarantee you're going to get your feelings hurt. Because you're going to, when it happens, whatever that happens, you're going to be like, what the fuck just happened? Okay, so what is the outcome? Hopefully my Geminis pay attention and to these red flags and they free themselves before it gets too far in. But we love love. We love the fact that we have romantic feelings. So we tend to stick with people that we fucking shouldn't. Look at this. Nine of Cups. Two of Wands. Somebody's going to make a decision to be happy. Yeah. They're trying to... We have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. This is an arrogant motherfucker. This this person might even decide to keep both of y'all. How many people? One, two, three, four. They might have four people that they're dealing with. This person is trying to figure out how to fuck to keep all of y'all. And still fuck around with birds. I'm telling you, something is wrong with this person. This person has a lot of people. But that's what they're going to decide to do. This person is going to decide that they still want to play. They're not done. They're not even going to be that great with this person. The point is, they just love this person. Like, I don't know how long they might have been with... This. You need to talk to this person about their ex. Find out more. They might lie. This person lies so fucking much, they might lie and tell you they don't have an ex. The last person was whoever they did tell you about. But it's someone else that they're still seeing. Four of Wands. Page of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I think you need to work on something in your household. If this person is in your household, 
I think you. Why is the page of wands here? You might be pregnant. It might be you that's pregnant. Okay, so if you're pregnant, right? Even if you're not, if this person is in a household with you, or if this person is in your fit, I feel like if they're not in your, this person has to be around you. They have to be. Even if it's like not immediate, they're very close to family. It's like Ten of Pentacles is the family card. If this person is in your family or whatever the situation, now in order to balance this off, you're going to have to, they have to leave. They have to be wherever they're going to be. I see them already going there, but I feel like they might still try to like be in between. You have to stand your ground and balance your situation off with your family life. Okay? Work on that. Work on seeing other possibilities because if you look at this from one way and you keep trying to lie to yourself and tell yourself something different, just free yourself. Pay attention to the red flags. I am so distraught right now because I, <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck this is. And it's resonating a little bit, but I'm like, damn, is it like that? All right. Thank you, guys.